Hello there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video review. Today we are reviewing the, the last, the last of the credit collection figures so far in the Black Series. I don't know why it took me so long to track down a quill. Um, it's, it's not like he's selling for a whole lot more than his initial value um, on the secondary market. It, it just for some reason, I just had the hardest time finding Queel out of all of the credit collection figures. What about the rest of you? Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the forums. Which credit collection figure was the hardest one for you to get a hold of for your The Mandalorian collection? So anyway, here he is. Uh, there is that wonderful concept art of him cradling IG-11 when he finds him in the... Uh, uh, you know, after after Mando blasts him, and you got his little credit piece right there. There's Quill. Uh, face wise, I, you know, not a whole lot different from the other Quill. Um, of course, you've got some other like little paint splatter on here. Um, I guess to give it a little bit more character, other than the other shades of colors they went with for the credit color scheme. Now. You don't really get a whole lot of these other colors out of the concept art, at least not so much on the card. Definitely see the greens that they used on the biceps there. Um, I feel like his little scarf-like bit here is a little bit darker. Maybe that's just the lighting of the art. I don't know, but it looks like it should be darker to me. Um, I, feel, I feel like the, they got the color of the goggles right. I feel like maybe they should have done that two-tone on the face a little bit just to kind of um, credit collection him up a bit because this isn't really necessarily so much a Queel action figure for us to display with our regular Mando stuff. This is a Queel based off of the concept art, and I feel the color should reflect that a little bit better. So other than that, I think it looks pretty sweet. Again, just I, I like how they got a little bit more creative with the colors here. Maybe some more of the color palette here is just based off of some of the other credit art concept artwork that we see at the end of the episodes of The Mandalorian. I'm not too entirely sure because I didn't just pre-game and just look up a bunch of credit artwork before this video. So if, uh, if it is, you know, let me know in the comments, let me know in the forums just which uh, pieces of art you think this color palette is based off of, aside from the few visible cues we can see in this. Anyway, on the back, you've got a wider shot of that artwork there, of him cradling IG-11 there, some words and things, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. Here is that nice little credit chip there. So we've got some, we've got some Star Wars monies. Lots of Star Wars monies. Got 10 pieces. 10 credits, well, we definitely have more than 10 in, in galactic currency, but uh, 10 in value, that is. But uh, so far, we have 10 different credit chips. And he has the same exact articulation as the other release of the Black Series Quill, released in the Phase 4 packaging of the Mandalorian. It's still fully articulated. The cap still comes off. Head is on a ball joint. Um, this is still a free floating piece, so if you remove the head, you can take all that off if you so choose. Fully articulated shoulders, single jointed elbows, wrists, waist, hips, oh, upper thigh, single jointed knees, ankle joints, and that's pretty much it for Quill's articulation. Let's put his little, put his little cap back on. Still the only Ugnaught action figure we have in the Black Series. Uh, looks like the gun they released with him this time is the same, which, um, I mean, not, not too big of a deal there. I don't think we really see his gun in the concept art. Again, that's, that's me uh, basing that off of the fact that I just didn't pregame a bunch of artwork before I decided to do this video. Um, I guess I should have. I guess I should have in that case. Again, just let me know in the comments. Let me know in the forums. Because um, surely he has his blaster in, in some of the credit concept art, right? Surely. Surely he does. Give me one. There we go. Get, let him hold his blaster there. So there is Quill for comparison. Here he is next to the regular 
quail. Honestly, I like the maroon quite a bit more. I like, I like, there's, there's elements of this color palette I like, but I like the, the maroon on this one. I kind of, I kind of wish the, uh, regular quill had the maroon, at least the maroon shirt over the maroon, or rather maroon vest over the kind of orangish colored vest. Not so much on the pants. I kind of like the, the, the khaki pants that he has on this one a little bit more, um, not quite sure which green sleeves I like more. I kind of like them both about equally. Um, the scarf, I, I don't really feel either way about either of the scarves. Uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like the blasters are pretty much the same there. Actually, I think the face looks better on the credit collection than it does on the regular version. There's just more detail on the face on the credit collection than there is on the regular version. So the head sculpt is definite, well, head sculpt, the head sculpt is the same. The, the way they printed the face though, the paint is definitely better on this one than it is on this one. Yeah, yeah, the face is definitely better. So there you go. And also for comparison, here he is next to the credit collection, IG-11, and we'll go ahead and bring out his other friends, the Mandalorian, and Caramel Dune, also known as Cara Dunington. Nah, it's just Cara Dune. Again, I feel like they just made him a little too tall. He's an Ugnaught. He's not supposed to be tall. He's tall for an Ugnaught. And there you guys have it. Another awesome addition to the credit collection. Uh, again, what do you guys think of the credit collection so far? What are some characters you would like to see in maybe a third wave of the credit collection? Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the forums what kind of Mando characters you would like to see in the credit collection. Um, whenever we get to that point for Book of Boba Fett, you know, I really hope we get a credit collection Boba and Fennec for sure. Um, but talking Mando, we need a credit collection Grogu. I mean, yes, another Grogu release. Um, but I stand by it. a million Grogu's. We need we need a million more Grogu's. Every every figure needs to come with a Grogu somehow. Um, yeah, all all of the Grogu's. We need a million Grogu's, a million Porgs. Um, heck, just throw Lola in the mix too. Let's get a million Lolas while we're at it. A million Grogu's, a million Porgs, a million Lolas. Um, but. but Seriously, though, uh, yeah, kind of strange, I think, that we don't have a credit collection Grogu yet. Um, we've got two Mandos now. So we have two versions of Mando, Kara, IG, Quill, Grief Karga, a Death Trooper, Moff Gideon, the Armorer. Am I forgetting anybody? No, that's it. That's all of them. So that's all ten. Um... But yeah, no Grogu. Little odd that we didn't get a credit collection Grogu. Little odd that we didn't get any credit collection um, Stormtroopers either. I mean, Death Trooper aside. Um, strange strange to me that we didn't get a credit collection Stormtrooper. I, I like that we got a Quill to kind of round off, you know, some of Mando's closer allies, I guess. For, for lack of a better word at the moment. Um, but... In a Wave 3, I would hope to see a Grogu. I would hope to see um, a Remnant Stormtrooper or a regular Stormtrooper. Just just a Stormtrooper. Any any Stormtrooper. Even if it's an Incinerator Trooper with some like orange shoes coming off of it. Or um, another Mortar Trooper with some other different colors coming off of it. Um, just some kind of Stormtrooper I think would be really cool personally. Um, maybe... A death troop, not death trooper. We already got that. A uh, dark trooper. I know we haven't gotten quite gotten the regular black series dark trooper yet, but I think a dark trooper would be cool. Um, oh, we also got heavy infantry Mando. That's one I forgot to name. He heavy infantry Mando is pretty cool. Uh, maybe. Gosh, what else? There was a couple others. An Ahsoka. I would love a credit collection Ahsoka. I would love a credit collection Bo Katan. Um, what else did we get? Zero. Zero would be cool in credit collection, I think. 
just just another wave. I think I think we can get at least one more wave of credit collection without releasing another The Mandalorian in the credit collection um, for for Black Series. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth getting another wave? Are you going to have to get all five if they do another wave? Will there even be five next time? Maybe it's one more. Maybe it's a little less. Who knows? Um, but would you be into another wave of Black Series credit collection? Let's talk about it. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the forums. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review and the final review of the credit collection so far, um, where we reviewed the new credit collection Quill. Glad we got a hold of this one. This was a cool figure. Um, not my favorite of Wave 2. Definitely not my favorite. I would say my favorite of Wave 2 was probably the armor, to be honest. Um, but between the five, because we got this guy, we got Quill, we got Grief Karga, we got Moff Gideon, we got the armor. I would say the armor is probably my favorite of Wave 2. What was your favorite of Wave 2? Again, let us know in the comments. Let us know in the forums. Stay tuned for more RebelScum.com content. Make sure you're going to the website every single day so you don't miss reviews and videos like this one here. Turn on notifications and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the same ver very, for the very same reason. Make sure you follow us on social media and go to RebelScumShop.com because there's all kinds of awesome swag and merch like this shirt that I'm wearing today. So make sure you go there and check out all the stuff we have for you available all over the world. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.